Um, right, there is, I would like to say a few words about uh, the, these projects, Rexo and uh, Costing IT Services. Uh, the first one uh, completed last year, the second uh, up and running. You'll hear more about the first stage of that from Dan Perry at the back there in one of the breakout sessions this afternoon. Uh, but uh, the reason I'd, I'd like to mention it is it's very closely related in what we're focusing on to the sort of things that, uh, that this seminar is about, but in particular focus perhaps on the accounting and financial system side, the extent to which they can support uh, IT in helping to minimise costs and environmental impacts, which is where it started, uh, or indeed uh, not, as the case may be. So, Rexo was actually set up originally by, uh, by Rob as part of the Greening ICT programme, so the focus on environmental impacts and the, the most topical and most obvious one, of course, being energy consumption and the consequences of that, uh, mainly carbon emissions, but of course there's a, cl a close correlation between uh, between uh, that and costs. Uh, consuming resources will have, have an impact on both and depending on where the focus and the priorities are in any organisation at any one time, uh, one may have more traction than the other. And the hypothesis behind it was that there could be a number of things that might be done by people working in IT at various levels or indeed people working outside IT that could have an impact on resource consumption, cost, environmental impacts. Uh, but weren't always being taken, and there might be uh, several reasons for that, but one could be that these people weren't being provided with the information that could help, uh, firstly to make it, uh, to make it uh, possible to identify what could be done, and secondly to provide the, uh, the incentives. I say there might be people at a number of levels in IT. Uh, it could be people outside estates, uh, most obviously. So getting the information through in the right sort of granularity and the right sort of focus to uh, the people that can uh, that do something useful with it. Uh, and uh, what, uh, what we found was that, uh, yes, that was frequently the case. Energy costs were frequently hidden from the people who were, uh, uh, who were ultimately causing them, uh, either in the long term by, uh, by way of infrastructure investment decisions or to some extent in the short term through op uh, managing their operations. Uh, hidden because either they were being born uh, out of a central budget, usually managed by estates, or if they were being tracked through at all to uh, the users, it wasn't in any way that reflected cause and effect. Uh, it wasn't something that actually reflected the real cost drivers, typically as part of a generally apportioned space cost, which really tells you very little and provides very little incentive to do anything. Uh, there were a number of opportunities, however, provided with the right information and uh, in the right sort of systems to, uh, uh, to make improvements. And the sort of things that we looked at and wrote a number of case studies on and uh, discussion papers were sh shared saving schemes, uh, such as uh, the one set up by, uh, by Cambridge to, uh, to provide incentives and disincentives to those, uh, uh, to those departments uh, 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 not meeting their energy budgets or meeting them. Uh, costing models, total cost of ownership, including uh, uh, the full cost, energy and infrastructure and uh, potentially the devolution of energy budgets. But uh, in practice, these weren't very uh, widely adopted. Uh, that is already changing, and there are other pressures on the financial management in universities that are helping to support that, in particular the emphasis on track, which uh, you may have come across. Uh, the SITS project um, has, uh, is in progress. And uh, I'll not say uh, uh, too much about phase one. Uh, let me know if I get any of this wrong, Dan. Uh, but that's been completed and led by Janet. And its uh, main output is a comparative standardized benchmarking tool, uh, the X-ray tool, which uh, he'll be happy to, to tell you about, uh, that helps to focus attention on the cost of IT services, specific services, in one university as against another. That's very much look, looking at a high level across potentially a number of universities. Uh, what 
Peter and I are commencing on now in the second phase of this is looking at a number of in-depth cost analyses to support decisions. The two main ones, which I suspect from listening to some of the conversations earlier, are going to be relevant to a lot of people here, uh, how far within universities to try to bring service provision into the centre, rather than, as is often the case, that the way things have evolved over time, uh, devolved across a number of departments. And the uh, following on from that, the extent to which to attempt to do specific services in-house as opposed to outsourced. Of course, there are a number of factors uh, involved in all of that. Cost is only one, but unless you do have a clear handle on what costs are being caused, uh, what is the differential cost between one option or the other, you're not really in a position to, to do much about that. <clears throat> We're looking forward to developing a number of case studies and tools uh, to help with that. In particular, looking forward to working with uh, uh, the University of York, and you'll be hearing from uh, Heidi Fraser Krauss uh, later on uh, in that breakout session on the sort of things uh, that they're doing there now. And developing some learning materials directed uh, not at account accountants, but at uh, those working in IT, potentially in other technical areas as well in the future in the future uh, to help to uh, help to uh, bring them up to speed with what's uh, what they need and uh, again trying to understand the cost drivers of those costs that may in practice be hidden within accounting systems particularly energy and the infrastructure related to it and uh, what really uh, uh, Draw, uh, captured our attention was something that Amazon published. They didn't give the dollar <coughs> amounts, of course, but they gave a breakdown of, uh, of their costs. And uh, the costs associated with, the, the direct costs associated with, uh, uh, with, um, uh, with providing IT services were predictably perhaps only a relatively small portion of the total. Uh, the large part that was related to support uh, facilities, in particular power and the equipment related to that, uh, driven again by, uh, uh, by the same factors. And I had to include this because this is one that Peter's rather proud of. He usually, when he's presenting it, he usually accompanies it with some acerbic comments about our relative football teams. Uh, but essentially, it's to try to achieve what uh, we're all looking for, a level playing field in, uh, in evaluating <coughs> options uh, between each of them all of them supported by, uh, by the full facts. And uh, we'd be keen to talk with anybody about what we're planning to do. Uh, so uh, please have a word with me or with Peter as and when he's around during the day. If uh, you're doing anything or will be interested in, uh, in looking at doing anything, uh, particularly together with your uh, accountants and, the, and accounting systems. Thank you. <coughs>